Hello everyone. My name is Jeremy Porcy. I'm also known to some as Drago. Uh, I'm the creator and developer of uh, Drago the Demon Hunter, which is a new Metroidvania game coming to Steam June 30th, 2023. In preparation for Steam's Next Fest, uh, I've prepared a little video to help you all to get a little bit more info about the game and to answer some questions about myself, uh, where the game is coming from, the creation process, and also a playthrough of the demo. Alright, so this, the game's story takes place in the distant future, and you play the role of Drago. He's a hunter from a secluded village called Eden. His quest begins with a journey to find a remote city called Lighthaven. And along the way, you meet Drago's family and friends, which are voiced by my family and friends. Uh, but you also encounter various monsters and demons, and of course these demons themselves each have a various biblical backstory, which is all detailed in the game. Uh, and Drago has to eventually hunt down the demons and put an end to the evil darkness and bring back the light. So in the early days of gaming in March 2004, my friends and I were waiting with anticipation for the first MMORPG for PlayStation 2. It was called Final Fantasy XI. So to even play, uh, the game had come with an, a, a hard drive as well as its own Ethernet adapter. Uh, but a long story short, when it came time for the character creation, choosing your online uh, gaming name was a crucial step. And uh, my character at the time was this tiny little Teru Teru, uh, which is kind of like a little hobbit. It was a little small guy. Uh, but of course, I, I, I was a big Lord of the Rings fan, but I couldn't use names like uh, Frodo or Bilbo. Um, and so, you know, I remember I, I had this, this Bruce Lee poster on my wall. And, it, uh, you know, it had, the, it had the word dragon on it. And so... Uh, I used the word dragon, and of course I just dropped the N, uh, but uh, then I, I changed the first letter to a J to match my first name, uh, and uh, that was the origin of the name Drago, and it became my online handle for pretty much all the gaming systems. Uh, and uh, of course I'm also a musician, and I was playing in a metal band at the time, and eventually I started a small indie record label called Drago Records. Uh, and then in 2020, I launched a new band called Draco, which is actually featured in the soundtrack for the video game. So in November 2021, I didn't know the first thing about making video games. I had some previous experience in graphic design and uh, audio engineering, but when it came down to like programming and code, I was clueless. Uh, I, I actually Googled how do I make a video game? Which, uh, you know, in the search results, eventually I found uh, the Unity software. So I downloaded Unity, and uh, Unity has a lot of uh, good example projects that you can get started with uh, to really, uh, you know, kind of quickly jump into a game making process. Uh, but eventually I found several really good YouTube tutorials and began just learning the basics, like, you know, how do I make a guy move? How do I make him attack? You know, that kind of thing. Uh, but after a few uh, months of working in C-sharp, you know, I started to get the hang of it and began creating, uh, you know, my own customized sprites and images and graphics to kind of make it my own game. Uh, but as a solo indie developer, you know, asset development takes a lot of time. And, uh, of course, I, I have a full-time job and a family and uh, my, my time to develop was very limited to only late at night and on the weekends. And so, uh, you know, in an, in an attempt to speed things up a little bit, I, I, yeah, I began to scour the internet to help try to find resources, you know. And uh, I came across a website called itch.io, which is, uh, it's full of video game sprites and graphics. You know, some are free, some cost money. But there's a, a vast amount of resources available for anyone interested in making a video game. I would say this game is heavily inspired by some of the earlier adventure games on NES like Castlevania 2, Simon's Quest. Uh, that was a big one for me. Uh, Zelda 2, The Adventures of Link. You know, games like Ghosts and Goblins. 
Uh, but I've tried to incorporate uh, RPG elements that you might find in a, a Final Fantasy game. I'm, I'm a big Final Fantasy fan. Uh, but at the same time, uh, you know, I, I was a really big fan of also games like uh, Super Metroid and, of course, uh, Castlevania Symphony of the Night. That's a big one. Uh, lots of inspiration there. Uh, I mean, those games practically created the whole Metroidvania genre. Uh, but I, I'd probably have to say... Uh, like, Castlevania Harmony of Despair is probably one of my favorite games. Uh, but lastly, I also enjoyed the challenge of games like, you know, Demon Souls and Dark Souls. So I tried to sprinkle a little bit of that in there as well. Alright, so let's, let's play the demo, right? Uh, if you've got a Steam Deck, I can recommend to download it on Steam Deck. It, it, it should work seamlessly on the deck. But at the same time, if you're playing on PC, you can play with a keyboard and mouse. But at the same time, uh, if you've got a controller, me personally, I like a Sony controller, but uh, any controller should work. Uh, so let's play, right? Again, let's just start pressing buttons here. This is our main menu. We're going to go to the options first. These are the controls for Steam Deck. And of course, uh, if you play a keyboard, here's your controllers here. These are the controls uh, for any of the controllers, which should be the same as Steam Deck as well. Alright, let's, uh, let's go check out a new game here. And for demo purposes and time, we're gonna, we're gonna choose Easy Mode, I think, for now. And uh, we'll just choose File 1. In a distant future. is in chaos. Most of the population has been killed off by plagues and diseases, or by the growing evil that is slowly taking over the earth. Those that were left flocked to the protected cities that had fortified their defenses enough to keep the evil ones at bay. But one by one, the cities fell as they were overrun with evil demons and monsters. There are only a few cities left. Those that remain seek hunters to fight off the evil foes. Those demon hunters are mankind's last hope for survival. The city of Lighthaven has sent requests far and wide, and a young hunter has answered the call. A hunter named Drago from the secluded village of Eden. This is the story of Drago, the Demon Hunter. start with uh, Drago sleeping in his bed. Alright, we can move now. Some basic controls. We can jump. Let's see, we can attack a little bit. Of course, we don't have any weapons yet, but... Alright, of course, we got the Drago albums on the wall. Alright, we'll press up and enter the doors. And let's go check out some stuff here. Let's see what we got. Hey, Drago, I'm Angela. Come by and talk to me sometimes, okay? Don't stay out too long. Uh -huh. 
Looks like you could use a better weapon. I got what you need right here. Right, he's gonna drop our first sword. We're gonna go to the menu and equip it. So we can attack, and uh, of course we can attack in all directions as well. We can attack up and diagonal as well. Greetings, Drago. Going to hunt some beasts today? Boy, if you kill enough demons, maybe one day you'll consider becoming a guardian. What kind of ranged weapon are you using? for now and check back with me later sometime okay so kira she's gonna drop us a sub weapon which our sub weapons are a ranged weapon uh this first weapon is a throwing star which will allow us to kind of shoot careful out there there's monsters afoot of course one thing to note our ammo is limited by that blue meter take at the top music with you it really means something the red is your your health, the blue is your ammo, and the green is your magic. Of course, Sin, Sin's just dropped us some, uh, some music, but uh, we'll check that out later. Go see the Elder before you leave uh, town. And of course, we can't leave yet. We've got to go talk to the Elder. The forest. It's extremely dangerous. Better equip your best gear. Try not to die. If you do, there will be consequences. And, uh, of course, helping you guys out in the you demo here. Uh, here. Here. Careful out there. Most There's of these characters support. in the town are going to have something to, to, to give you if you, uh, if you ask around enough. Try not to die. If Watch out for poison. It might not kill you instantly, but it will drain your health over time. We've also got some useful have tips. Have considered becoming a guardian? It will be dangerous to go by yourself. Take this. And Zen drops a ring. We'll go ahead and equip that as well. Again, what do you want this time? You're pretty funny. Don't be so serious all the time. Want to play hide and seek? Uh, no time for hide and seek just yet. All right, let's go talk to Miss Valeria here. Hey, don't spend too much time out there with the monsters. You should come visit more often. You should try to find some better armor. Come back Oop, in one right. piece, you got that? Hey, don't spend right, so too much time out there with monsters. You should come visit more often. We'll go ahead and get that equipped as well. I know this isn't much, but please take this with you on your journey to Lighthaven. All right, and she's going to drop us some, some sandals. So we've got most of our armor now. We need to go spend some time in the yes, sanctuary. Yes, ma'am. We're going to go into sanctuary. For you to leave Eden and seek out the elders of Lighthaven. Also, seek the sacred texts. They have all been scattered by the evil one. Mm. Oh, I almost forgot. Take this book with you. It will help you on yeah. your journey. He almost forgot to give you that book. You gotta have to sometimes, uh, you know, ask around a little bit. But the the book is your heal spell, which is very important. You need to go spend some time in the sanctuary. So let's see if we can get out of here now. You should come visit more often. Did you find it yet? Keep looking. Oh, now Angela, she's she's got she's up to Did something here. Keep she looking. was wanting to play hide and seek, and of course she had a key she was hiding. So we're gonna go ahead and grab that before we leave town. You really are my best friend. Don't forget about me. All right, we'll see you later. Again, what do you want this time? Well, Seth, being mean. Hey, don't mess up my cats, bruh. Greetings, Drago. Oh, okay, we'll just run through these guys here for now. What kind of range weapon are you using? Careful out there. There's monsters afoot. The forest. It's extremely dangerous. Better equip your yeah, best it gear. It is dangerous. Man, I'd like to go adventuring, but I'm not quite ready yet. Yeah, Singe, we'll, we'll have to see about Singe later here. Sun goes down, the 
worst kinds of monsters come out. I've already found the first sacred text. Here, you should hold on to it. Mm, sacred text. All right, so these are collectible things that, uh, I'm not going to go into too much detail. I don't want to spoil too much, so, uh, it's just kind of give you a little bit of browsing of the menu here. We can, uh, we can see our characters that we've uh, met in our journal. And uh, of course we've got our demon journal, but uh, we, don't, we haven't fought any demons yet. Here's uh, one of our sacred texts we found. And of course we've got our music there as well that we found earlier. But I'll let you guys uh, play with that. Deep in the forest, you'll find the lair of the winged demon. No one has come back. Okay, so we've got to go find a winged demon. All right, let's get busy. This is the haunted forest of Nod. Gonna use a little throwing stars and uh, mix it up with some sword. And, uh, take these guys out. We're checking our menu there. We can see how much experience we've got to the next level. All right, now there's a hound right here. We're gonna watch out. He's, these hounds are very dangerous, so we're gonna try to keep our distance behind that block. All right, so now we've got some story here, Reed. And we've got our platforming uh, jump here. Let's go. Ah, level up. Level two. making progress. Right, now we're kind of coming to this foggy area here. Plow through these guys here. Ah, another level up, level three. picked up a black cow. This is a, another headpiece. All right. All right, we're out of that area. Now we're in a blue area here. new monster here, a new type of enemy. He's kind of a, he's kind of loud. And these guys are not very friendly. Some more story here. Hmm.
this or not very friendly at all. So we've made it to our second sanctuary, which is our save locations. And the forest gets even deeper here. Mmm, Semjaza. Guys about to kill me. I'm trying to stay cautious here, keep my distance when I can. We're got another level up here and of some sort here. Mm, got some fire there. I don't know about this. Ugh. So some of these guys drop potions. Of course, the red potions uh, give us more health back and blue gives us ammo and, of course, green gives us magic. Got another book on the ground over there. Let's get rid of the skull first. Alright, so this this is a fire spell. So we're gonna equip that for a little bit and see how that works. Oh man, I got hit some of those fireballs by those skulls are deadly. We need to heal up first, actually. Put it back on this fire spell. We're gonna need that in a minute. All right, now we're in a blue cave here, so let's uh watch out for that hole there. Well, there's a dark horse. All right, we're gonna back up for a minute. Ooh, yeah, fire spell. All right, we're gonna use that hole to our advantage. Uh, to take out that horse. Fire spell does massive damage to these guys here, so definitely is uh, beneficial to be using that fire right now. Of course, we've got more story along the way here. I'll, I'll let you guys read that for yourself. To get deeper in the forest, it's starting to get all these different colors. We're out of the cave now, but it's now we're in a red zone. Another level up, which is very helpful. Now oh, those skulls do massive damage. sacred text there. Now we've got two sacred texts. All right, let's watch out for that ghost. This gives us some le uh, some of the names of these other demons that we're going to have to come across at some point. It saves area, but this is oh, a boss fight. All right. And of course, he's taunting us. 
All right, Sam just, uh, we got to do something about this guy, Drago. Let's go. Oh, he's about to kill us. Ah! That was close. All right, we'll pick up our little potion here. It looks like we, uh, what guy got stuck in the wall over there. Will Drago make it to Lighthaven? What is his purpose there and what happens next? Stay tuned for the release of Drago the Demon Hunter. Coming soon to Steam, June 30th, 2023. That's going to be uh, all for the demo right now, but I will allow y'all to watch the rest of the credits. This is the voice cast for the demo. Of course, the full game has uh, quite a, a much larger cast and uh, much more additional things as well. Well, thanks, guys, for checking out my game. Uh, I hope you go wishlist the game on Steam. And uh, June 30th, I'd like to see some of y'all buy it. <laughs>